Helicobacter man is a very interesting organism. It's one of the critical pathogens recommended by WHO and is resistant to almost unknown antibiotics. The reason is the reason the uh, hospital treatment is because of its resistance. And what else is resistance is because of its ability to form biofilm. So a lot of environmental factors triggers its ability to form biofilm. Factors like uh, the ecology, the temperature, the medium, and other factors. So a lot of work has been done on it. They have used whole genome sequencing to try to get the genes that are responsible for this. They have used other means to get the genes that are responsible for this. So a lot of other works have used the organic substances and inorganic substances to try to understand some of the antimicrobial agents that can kill biofilms. So in this work, we try to review the literatures of the work that have been done so far and to know the relationship between Asnatobacter human life information and the antimicrobial agents. So I can talk to my supervisor. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, this work uh, is about Asnatobacter baumani and uh, limited information is available in literature. Uh, may possibly no data from uh, Africa on uh, Asinito Baumani, uh, Asinito Bacter Baumani biofilm formation. So in, in this work, we try to update the literature and uh, bring in new data. And uh, this ongoing research uh, is very interesting. You will find uh, a lot of valuable information in this review article on uh, it's it's the first review article on literature uh, on Asinitobacter baumani isolated from uh, South Africa and and uh, the African content uh, continent so uh, in this work we try to uh, bring a, a, about most of the updated information about the factors that affect biofilm and its relation to uh, antimicrobial resistance uh, as mentioned uh, Asinitobacter baumani is the first organism uh, a list of organism uh, of highly resistant uh, pathogens of uh, list A of the WHO so it's almost resistant to most of drugs uh, and currently antimicrobial agents and this is a serious concern in healthcare and uh, medical settings so here we try to figure out those relationships and uh, we hope you enjoy the reading the article and the manuscript thank you